everyone. So I thought it would be a great idea to talk about the other surgical procedures that I'm going through. So obviously by the title, it's a turbulent reduction and a septoplasty. So story time here. Ever since I could remember, probably in middle school, I remember sitting in class like this and then I couldn't breathe out of one of my nostrils, particularly on the side I was leaning on, so I'd sit in class like this. And then I would get so uncomfortable that I would have to switch sides in class like this to have it the discomfort switch to this nostril so I could pay attention in class because it was just very uncomfortable. Um, I had this ever since I could remember and um, it's, it really disturbs your way of life. Um, I find it difficult to kiss people. I find it difficult really to sleep. So I would have my head on the pillow and then this nostril would just get so uncomfortable that I would have to switch sides so the discomfort would transfer to this nostril and it's not really a good way to fix the situation, it's just switching one nostril to the other and um, I can't sleep my significant other can't sleep and it's just not a way to live you know just you need to live breathing out both your nostrils and to breathe comfortably and it's just really difficult to live differently that way so i went to my doctor my doctor would she see every year and he prescribed me a nasal spray considering that the possibility that it could have been an allergic reaction to something or to allergies seasonal allergies and I thought to myself that's impossible I've had this all of my life I lived in four different places in three different states and I had this ever since I could remember so I knew it wasn't seasonal allergies, but he said to try it anyway. And this nasal spray was the worst. You had, he told, my doctor told me that I had to keep it this up for six months, shooting a nasal spray inside my nose, which was uncomfortable. And I did, I tried it out for a month. I did not see any benefits. I didn't see any point because I knew this wasn't seasonal allergies. So I stopped using it. So I went to my doctor again and then he had me refer to an ENT doctor, which is an ear, nose do doctor. So what happened with that doctor is that we decided to do a turbulent reduction surgery and to my best knowledge, a turbulent, your turbulence are like little balls of soft tissue in your nose and they get inflamed so they get bigger and then they deflame. So what my nose doctor was saying is that when I would sit on this side, this turbulent would get really small and then this one would swell up and then the blood transferred between each turbulent. So each time I turned my head, it was just switching blood and getting inflamed and, and disinflamed and all that good stuff. So I said, great, let's go ahead and do the surgery, let's get this done so I can breathe right. So after the surgery, a week and a half, probably like not even a week, I started having difficulty breathing again. And for the first couple days, it felt like a change of life, I could breathe easy. And it was a very non-invasive surgery, it was very easy. I. It's just um, when they reduce the turbulence, they either go inside and 
like suck out all the blood tissue out. <laughs> I know this is gross. Or they um, they kind of solder it with like a hot instrument and they make it smaller. And from what I gather, uh, you have like many turbulence inside your nose. So you, so you probably did it to all of my turbulence inside my nose so I could probably breathe easier. Well, after the surgery, it was such, it was like a revelation. I could finally breathe. Like someone just gifted me with, with breath of life and I could just go about my day and I felt like a normal person and I could, felt like I could do normal things and sleep well. But now it was all end of a dream when my symptoms came back. So now I went back to my doctor and he said that we could do a septoplasty. And a septoplasty is <clears throat> a, more of an invasive surgery than the turbulent reduction surgery. But as you guys know, I've been through a lot of surgeries for past for this past year so I just really didn't want to do a more invasive surgery but I think I just have to bite the bullet to do it anyway so a septoplasty is when they go into your nose and in the middle of your nose you have a bit of cartilage between the bone structures of your nose so right here into here and this is the bone structure there's a piece of color, cartilage in the middle of your nose that connects it all. And what he does is that he just cuts a little square in the middle of your cartilage. So hopefully you have more room to breathe. And I'm just really hesitant about the surgery because one, you can't grow a cartilage back, you know, once it's Like it's my bones, like maybe I'll miss it. Maybe, who knows, maybe I'll wake up one day and be like, oh, I really miss that cartilage in between my nose. So it's a, it's a scary thing, but I really think that I just have to just go ahead and do it and jump off the cliff and just go ahead and do it. But my doctor is saying that we could try the nasal spray again because I did not keep up with it the first time it was prescribed to me. And, um, he said, maybe we can try this, the nasal steroids in a different form. So he gave me tablet form of steroids and it did not work. The tablet form of steroids did not work. So he said, okay, we can do the septoplasty or we can do the nasal steroid spray again. And I don't really want to do the nasal steroid spray again because it's such a lengthy process. And if I do have symptoms that are cured from the nasal steroids from the spray, if I get those, if I can't, if I can't breathe, I would still have to shove up a nasal steroid spray up in my nose for the rest of my life. So I just was not really into that. So now we're going in for a septoplasty, and I'm really scared. It's just, I already had enough saws and stuff and bones rearranged in my face that I'm just like not really excited for the surgery. Mm. But I always, I always have to like keep it in perspective that I'm in a very wonderful place where I can get the help that I need to better my health. So I just need to stop being so whiny. Yesterday I went to my pre-op appointment. And so on, on the 2nd of September is when I'll undergo surgery. And anyway, hopefully it goes well. Hopefully I'll heal really fast. Um, the doctor was saying that after this surgery, I'll be in a very awkward position because I'll have these splints in my nose so the cartilage will heal straight but I'll have these splints in my nose and he says it goes quite far 
into the nasal cavity, maybe maybe like down my throat, possibly if I'm not too sure. Please don't take my word for that. But he says that once he takes it out, patients are usually surprised about how long they are because you can't, it doesn't like protrude out your mouth as much. And he was also saying that uh, after my surgery, I would be having straws in my nose so I'd be able to breathe out my nose because he says that he needs to put cotton and make it sure that the cartilage is structurally straight. So I'm not, I'm, that's not the reason I'm <laughs> too excited about because who wants, who wants to breathe out of two straws in their nose for about a week and a half? When I'm done with my surgery, I'll make another vlog to those who are interested about septoplasties and all that stuff. I couldn't really make a vlog about a turbulent reduction surgery because I just looked Soundly the same. It, it was just a very non-invasive surgery, but with septoplasty, it's so quite a bit different. So I'll make another vlog when I'm done with that surgery and you get to see all the wonderful straws poking at my nose. So stay tuned for that. Okay, thanks for watching.